Thank you so much. Well, a public school in Philadelphia sparking outrage for displaying anti-NRA and anti-GOP signs. Our, look how big they are. Our next guest planned to send her son to that school. It's an elementary school, but she says not anymore. Joining us now is Erin L. Moore. She's a Republican strategist. She probably looks familiar. She was a surrogate for President Trump. We had her on during uh, the, the campaign. She's also an NRA member. Thank you so much, Erin, for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So you live close to the school. You take your child to go play on the playground. He's five years old, Correct. not able to go to the school yet, but this is where you're zoned for. Your taxes go here. And what did you see on the door? I saw walking by one day several signs that said, GOP, no more BS, um, guns suck, bad things about the NRA, um, a sign that says, nope is dope, which is allegedly some sort of television reference that no one in the school is even old enough to watch, but it's also drug slang. So this school is saying things like suck and BS, which stands for bull you know what, mm -hmm. and dope. These are the things they're teaching our in children. elementary school, and they're huge signs. Huge. Okay, so you, you call the school, you walk into the school, what happened? I send the school a letter, a right to know request, which is any citizen's right in any school district. I challenge everyone in America, you don't have to be a fancy lawyer, just file a right to know request. You want to know? When were these signs made? What resources were used? Did you consult with any outside political groups? Did you do through su do throw and what was their school response? email? What they say? Um, radio silence on that, but I believe you might have a response they, for that. Well, they sent us a statement because we did call. They said we support students' rights to self-expression as long as that expression does not disrupt an orderly school environment. And these signs are not in violation of school district of Philadelphia policy. What's your response? They only represent one point of view. So these are actually divisive signs. Our president, as a, as a member of the GOP, he won the election. This is simply divisive. Also, the Philadelphia School District has only a 70% graduation rate, 10% below national average. Doesn't the school have an obligation to teach our children how to read, how to do math, science? Instead, they're posting things that are just divisive. The schools are supposed know, to be safe places. Was this, this an assignment? Was this like the older kids in the school, the fifth graders, were they assigned to, to make these posters? We don't know yet, but all I know is children as young as five go to this school. They are being used as political pawns. Well, Plus, and it looks scary. messy. Look at that. That doesn't even look nice. It if you're a taxpayer, nice. I, I even take away what the signs say, that looks really junky and messy, in my opinion. So what, what do you think re Republicans, conservatives that live in that area, they're upset because they don't like this message? Can, are they allowed to make posters and put them up there, too? Well, under the Constitution, this, if, if a student wants to express an alternative point of view, they have to be able to. So although the statement says they're not in violation of school policy, there's a lot of things that, are, that remain to be seen. They might be violating the Constitution. They might have violated other laws that don't allow you to contribute to political parties during school time. So this all remains to be seen. Your money goes there, but your son will not go there, you say, right? That's right, Ainsley. All right. Thank you, Aaron, for being with us. Thank you. James